Okay, today we've got a full septic replacement. We've got the easy flow over there. Grand Valley's bringing the tanks. Old tank is there. New tanks are gonna go somewhere over in that hillside. This is the drain field that's failed. We've got Ethan offloading equipment up there. Justin just, uh, oh, we lost a hub. We've got uh, Low Boy. We're gonna hook up, go park that in a parking lot. And then we've got our other buckets and some uh, mats and tanks for a job that we're doing just down the road two days. Okay, the guys are just down the road. We're only about a half mile down the road. Calvin and I are going to get these tanks unloaded. This is the septic we're doing Wednesday. Our next one's just down this road, a little bit to the left. We're going to go drop the mats off for that. We are back at the job we started this morning. We still have to collapse the tank down there, but uh, came out of the house. Double 45 to another 45. It's actually coming out below the footing. That's why that's so deep. We've got a thousand gallon tank, another thousand gallon tank in. We're getting ready to set our 600 gallon tank. And then our drain field is put together. And this is a easy flow, but pressurized. So, so easy flow bed is together. I think Ethan and Kelvin, yep, we've already got our pressurized line sticking out. We'll build our header, then we've got to dig our pressure line back down to the tanks. So this one worked out really good because it's really wet through there. We were really worried about dumping stone and transferring it all uh, back into this area. Inspection uh, is done, passed, so now we're getting risers on. Huge thunderstorm rolling in, and you can hear it. So we're gonna start backfilling what we can. So we got our pressure line, an electrical line run through, and the electrical is going up underneath the deck. But uh, I'll show you how we did this real quick. So Easy Flow, the only thing that's kind of goofy is uh, Easy Flow has a three foot on center is what you end up with um, when you put Easy Flow in correctly. Our county, Kent County, uh, requires five foot on center. So you'll see some empty ones. They're not empty though, they actually have inserts in there. So you don't have uh, dirt infiltrating in the center. But uh, you just run the pressure lines down through the four inch line and then the caps are down there. A lot of debris to uh, clean up. So we're gonna try to get some of this pushed in. Like I said, our other one's just down the road tomorrow. So we'll have two guys come in in the morning and Harley rake this. Hopefully it'll be dried out by then, but we kind of hit a little landfill. There's bottles and all sorts of everything down in there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this uh, backfilled because that is coming in pretty heavy. 